All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. As you've seen before, we've made so many videos on this truck from putting a carburetor on to doing exhaust work. And then of course, making all these fun flyby videos and snap crack on pops and stuff. It's been a lot of fun, but now we're back again, fixing to work on this truck once again, because it goes without saying, if a vehicle is 37 years old, it's bound to have some problems. So what is going on here? In this video, I'm gonna to try to see why the heat is not working in this truck. No matter how hard you drive it, no matter how hot it gets, there is no heat coming out of those vents at all. You would not be able to survive. It was really cold out here and you were having to drive this thing. So in this video, I'm going to see if I can get that heat working again. But first, we've got to check a few things. This is something that should only be done when the engine is cold. As you can see, it's got coolant. Now, it's not going to be at the top because coolant expands and these fans. Coolant constantly changes when it gets hot and cold it expands when it gets warmer and that's what this overflow is for so it look i think it's good i i recently topped it off anyways when i put that on there so that should be good i ain't really worried about this anyway the main thing i'm worried about is the heater core now when we start it up we got to make sure we get it nice and warm and i'm going to fill these hoses and see if they're hot if they are then i have another idea that we're going to try but i'll show you that as we go let's get this thing started up and I also want to note that the heat in the Dodge doesn't work either. So we got to do the same thing to that after we get this one done. But that'll be for another video. All right, so I've been driving around the yard here for a few minutes. Okay, both of these hoses are warm. Okay, so that don't really make sense. We're gonna turn the heat on. I know it don't work, but we're gonna just turn it on anyway. It's coming out right here, and it's not warm at all. It, that's weird. So a lot of guys that I've talked to on this forum about all these square body pickups say I need to back flush my heater core. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to ease the pressure off of this. Now it shouldn't blow up in my face, but it is a little warm, so it's probably gonna hiss at me a little bit. Okay, it didn't do anything. That's good. I mean, yeah, we do have some. Okay, yeah. That's working. My heater core is fine. I need to be careful here because the fan motor is right beside it. I don't want to get that wet. And then we'll really have some problems then. Yeah, we're good on the heater core. So, it's not the heater core. It can't be the thermostat because I've replaced that recently. So the coolant gauge doesn't work in there. So I think the best thing to do before we even try to fix this heat problem is to get that gauge working or just get another gauge. Because I'm tired of taking guesses as to how hot this thing gets while I'm driving it. And sometimes I worry if it's overheating on me. So let's go to O'Reilly's. This is probably the place I've driven to more times than any other place, honestly. See what I tell you, even my phone knows I'm heading over there. I've done it so many times. <laughs> so when I got this new gauge, I wasn't thinking about the fact that I would probably need some Teflon tape to go with this. So that's going to have to be done. Another trip back to O'Reilly's again. Alright, so I've got all the lines connected. Alright, so while standing outside topping off that coolant, I forgot to check the gauge and it looks like we're good. It's actually working and it says 230. That is weird. Maybe we should go on a test drive and see if that don't go any higher. I'm kind of concerned about that. I mean, it's not extremely high, but that's that's getting up there, especially for just idling. It hadn't even been running that long. Oh, Camaro. I'm in the wrong vehicle, but well, at least it can do this. truck is not slow that is for sure all right so i'm back home and while i was driving it really did not go above 190 but now that i'm stopped it's going up a little bit which is normal i'm gonna look under the hood and make sure everything is fine nothing leaking or spraying anywhere the heater core hoses are nice and hot but we still ain't got no heat there is no hot air coming out at all i mean none 
It does not make any sense, at least not yet. <laughs> so I don't know if this will come off all the way because there's obviously some stuff connected to it, but I'm gonna at least try to pull it out as far as I can. We know this one works fine because we can hear it doing its thing and we can see the blend door working as well. So this one is fine. It's this one down here I'm worried about. So it's connected right there at the cable. We just gotta figure out where it leads to. And we may have to pull the glove box off for that. So check this out. I think I just found the problem here. I think that is it right there. Yes, that is it right there. So that is all the way cool. And that is all the way hot. But for some reason, that wants to keep popping off, as you can see. It doesn't take much at all to pop it off. So I've got to figure out a solution here. I am so excited, guys. Then we'll finally have heat in this truck, hopefully. All right, so I don't want to think that I'm just imagining this, but that feels like heat already coming out. That is all it was. It was a stupid thing that was disconnected. I can't believe this, guys. I'm going to let it warm up a little more because I, I know that's heat. I, that is, is warm air. I've waited a few minutes later. I hope this air is hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this air is warm. That heat works. I put a zip tie right here temporarily until I can get something like a spring nut to hold that in place. But that will work for now. The heat works good in this thing, guys. We're not even fully warmed up. I got it blowing on the top vents and the bottom vents. I'm nice and warm in here. So that's that, a very successful video. We finally have heat in the GMC again. I'm so glad that's fixed because I was tired of driving this thing in the cold. So in the next video, we need to do the same thing to the Dodge. We need to figure out why the heat doesn't work in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the GMC. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you wanna see more videos of these trucks or vehicles or anything here for this matter, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.